Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. We're on episode number 32 of Let's Plays Granada. So, looking around the world in EU4 seems to me like it's a, it's just not the same as in CK2. In CK2, like, really weird stuff happens everywhere. Here, everything always just looks the same to me. I feel like countries don't change very much in this game. Except for Granada. Granada gets massive. Just massive. We're huge. I mean, England always does this. Castile and Spain or whoever always do this. They're probably allied again, right? Still have their personal union. They're actually still, they're not allied with Portugal. They're my rival. Portugal, they're, I mean, they're friends. Enemy of enemy bonus, historical friend is only plus 25. They've improved each other's relations, probably residual from their alliance. I mean, eventually, I don't know, I'm going to keep messing with them. I might be able to get them to break up. It's like a high school relationship where you like a girl and someone else is already dating her and you're trying to break them up so you can get the girl, except that it's countries and it has nothing to do with high school. I don't know what I'm talking about. Don't listen to me. I have a sore throat. I'm just, I'm in a bad mood. I'm in a good mood. I'm in a great mood. I just have a sore throat. Invest in the naval force. Yay. Um, Diplotech costs down. Kind of like the idea of picking up some more trade efficiency and trade range. That'd be pretty good. Um, I'm not going to be doing military tech for any... I'm not doing any of this for a while, so it doesn't really matter. Sad, sad news, the great statesman of Morocco has died. Our royal marriage is over. We're still allied though, right? Mm-hmm. Ungrateful natives have attacked our settlements. The jerks. Cord that old colony. Really running up against the uh, the support limit there. So I think we want to attach or, or just take one of these one of these infantry and go reinforce down there. And then these armies are all looking pretty pretty well supported, I think. I don't have three colonists, do I? Why don't I have three colonies right now? Royal marriage from Morocco. Hmm. I guess. Right, so. Um, dealing with the overextension here for a while is kind of annoying. Because it does hurt things. It, it really does affect things. N national revolt risk goes up. Trade power abroad's down. Dipple reps down. But... Shouldn't be too long, I think. Just two more quick wars and we can consume all of Swahili. In the meantime, maybe we even start colonizing past them so we can keep on doing stuff. That seems like a pretty good option. Let's bring our transports down. Prepare them to bring an army all the way up to here. Let's go see if we can meet our friends in Oman. We actually have military tech level 10. Oh man, they broke my coring too. Well, I suppose we can do the missionary thing first then. Probably the best thing for me to have done would be to actually stop the coring process right before they finished taking it. Who has room for some more horses? Come on, we have just so many freaking horses now. You horses, go up here. All the way up here, just wander home. That's where you belong. They're not cavalry, they're horses. <laughs> it's just, just, it's a thousand horses. There's no men on top of the horses. They're just horses. Hanging out. Okay, so the transports are here. As soon as this colony finishes, I think we will... No, not this colony, probably the other colony. I would like to continue getting more money, because this mission is taking a lot longer than I expected. Truce will expire with Swahili in four more years. The local natives seem to be more accepting of our presence. And damn well they should be. Because we're amazing. We are Granada. We're the grenade. The grenade of Africa. 
So let's check out our new up upcoming neighbors. So Ethiopia is at military attack level 6. Already fabricated a claim. Might as well fabricate another. Actually, what's the point, really? Oh, there is a point. It reduces the diplo cost. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. It reduces the diplo cost of piecing them out. So we should get as many claims as we can. Um, but anyway, Ethiopia is Sunni. They have military tech level 6. They don't appear to be very large. Oman is a uh, Shiite. So... Ooh, their increased morale might be dangerous. They're actually at level 10 military tech, where I am at level 11. So we're pretty even, actually. Looks like they control that, too. Where's your capital, Oman? Up here? Ooh, they've got spices. That is a lot of production from spice. And they've got their important center of trade. Um, hmm. These guys are at level 10. And then we've got all of India, which is, I think, going to be really easy to deal with if we actually keep expanding that far. No one expects the Granadan Inquisition. Which is, <laughs> who is this Granada guy? He just came out of nowhere. <laughs> we thought Africa had, was full of malaria, but no, it's just full of Granada. It's interesting how this little blip can be there, but the rest of it's uncolonizable. With enough technology, you should be able to colonize anything. Hmm. <laughs> Almost did our mission. One more month. Ramadan! Soon it is the ninth month of our calendar, and Muslims worldwide are preparing for a month of fasting. It is one of the five pillars of Islam, and is a fard for all adult males who are not ill, pregnant, or traveling or pregnant. Do we want to gain piety? Or ignore it? Well, I think we ignore it. We're so unpious. We're just greedy bastards. <laughs> Speaking of greed, we just accumulated money. Colonize! Claim our rival's province, Kilwa. Kilwa, Kilwa. Isn't that what we're doing right now? Mombasa. Well, that that's fine, because we're going to want to do that. Sounds good. We'll do that after this one finishes. We still have time. We have three more years, roughly, before the truce is up. Agricultural revolution. We have managed to increase our agricultural production by implementing new farming techniques for plantations. Invest in a bigger army. Get more manpower in Oyo. I'm so large now, I don't even know where my provinces are. Oyo. Get some more manpower in Oyo. Or raise taxes even higher. Two base tax in Oyo. I think we want two more base tax in Oyo. We've managed to convert the heretics in that one province down here. So now we will core it. Hey, we finally have enough points that we can pick up the next national idea. Some army tradition. Sounds awesome. Man, Granada's pretty damn well built for like a, a westernization tech, tech burst. When you look at this tech cost minus five and then some of the other stuff we can pick up. It's good. Let's lose piety. Negative 100 piety. We're like the least pious Muslims in the world. Yay, we have a colony. Sweet. Uh, here. Core it. Means we have a spare colonist. That means that it is time, I think. Uh, not quite. Well, we'll take that army then. And I should probably get some more transports. We're allowed to spend our money now, so I think we want to... Do we want to spend all this money on a embassy just for another diplomat? 
Probably not. Workshops on the gold mines, though. Need to build a constable before a workshop can be built. Hmm. Damn you, game. Limiting my options. Where's the gold? Alright, so we've got... Kumasi is gold. Buildings. Before we can build the... Workshop, we need the constable. The workshop would increase production. That seems like a pretty reasonable thing to do, then. Not a marketplace. Constable. Not a marketplace. Cancel. Okay, and then we've got more gold mines. Lots of them, in fact. Wow. I didn't realize there was four of them down here. Jesus. Um, Sophia. Ah, we're, we're gonna wait. I mean, that one's... It's not even cord. Actually, I guess it doesn't make any difference, does it? Go ahead, build the constable. And then these ones are busy. Trade. Did we miss any? Doesn't look like it. There is another gold mine up here. A huge one. Wow. I should have taken that. How did I miss that? Damn. Well, that's next on the list. <laughs> okay. Um, other than that, I need some military points because I want to build a marsh. March. Why do I always want to call it a marsh? It's called a march. And I wouldn't mind building some grain things. I think, right? Like, there's no reason not to do that, isn't there? Yeah. We'll do it. Oh, that's right. I was just thinking about building more transports. I want to have, I think, eight transports. Although, darn it, we're just about to pick up the flight. At level 10. How is it in, How is it better? Does it matter? It's a, just a transport for crying out loud. It doesn't matter. Just give me three more of these things. Give me four more of these things. That way we'll have eight transports, which is a pretty good army. We can do like four... Four infantry, two cavalry, and two cannons. It's a pretty good army, I think. Ivory. Yay! Ivory. Looking forward to these cores being done. He's dealing with some Swahili pretenders. <laughs> He's going to get beaten by pretenders, isn't he? This colony's not quite there yet. The, uh... Army has arrived, so we should probably send our colonists now. Excellent. That colony's almost done. This colony's kind of slow, but it's got a colonist, so he'll grow it pretty quickly. We did start coring this one, didn't we? Good. Don't want to be Defender of the Faith. Do want to build a march. We need just a tiny bit more money due to inflation. And we've got to build this on a province that has a border with our enemy. And you can only have one of them, so we've got to kind of pick a good spot for it. Like, the potential places are pretty much just that one. And that's up against Morocco. These ones aren't cored, so we can't build there. Why not? I mean, Rio de Oro is pretty close to Castile. Let's do it. Hopefully we never have to worry about losing this province. Because that would really suck. 
with a local defensiveness plus 200 should kind of make that not happen. Be really difficult for them to siege it. Can you imagine building a march on top of an island? How difficult that island would be to siege? What else can we build here? I haven't really built anything here yet. Like in the income, though, we're up to 23. Inflation's still kind of a problem. We are gaining 0.11 per year. After we get the a uh, little bit more admin tech... Oh, God, 10% more production efficiency. Yes. Yes. I want it. Of course, that's going to increase my income from gold, which is dangerous. Do it. More money. Hey, core, core, core. Sweet. Convert. Ten months. Yeah, they're all ten months. Just do that one. Okay, cool. I'm going to take a break here. Thank you for watching, everyone. See you again soon.